Victoria, we're in the pews. <laughs> we are. <gasps> we're in the church, sitting like where the congregation. We would are have the sat. congregation. We are. And you're so much better looking than these aliens. Well, I have to tell you, I've been looking at them. Bruce told you that you were like more like the aliens. I know, than... <laughs> I know. He put the aliens in because he said it was more like me. Exactly. But we've been looking at these guys for a while, so it's about time we got How to know long? them. How long? A year and a half I of know. looking at these crazy pictures. I know. I'm sitting next to Minnie, of course, because I love her shoes. <laughs> of course. Well, of that makes course. sense, right? Yes, yes. Well, the aliens are known to be very brilliant and intelligent. Oh, please. So All right. What could I say? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, take us into the service, Karen. Take us What's into happening? the service. So, today we are doing a rerun by popular demand of our very first <laughs> Holy Humor Sunday during the pandemic. Mm -hmm. We hope you remember this one. Me in a onesie. She All starts in a onesie, <laughs> and it went from there. <laughs> but people had a lot of fun, and when we said we were going to do a couple of re-ones, the first thing people asked me is, are you going to do the Holy Humor Sundays? And we are. Mm -hmm. And so hope you enjoy and just get a chance to laugh and laugh today. Welcome to St. Paul's United Church for a rerun of our Holy Humor Sunday from January of 2020. Okay, Rob, we're ready to start the uh, service and we're going to go in five, four, three, two, one. Rob, 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 we have to start the service. Rob, Rob, oh, come on, Rob, come on. Hey, hey, but are you poking me with a stick? Social distancing, distancing my, my friend, friend. Social, social distancing. distancing. We, need, we to need to start, to start the service. The service. I don't, I don't pay, pay you to sleep. sleep. Pay me? Oh, well, that's right. That'd be nice. Oh, well, okay. okay. Uh, we're going to give you, a, we don't pay you. We're going to give you a 20% raise. Here we go. Let's start this service now. Okay. In five, four, three, two. Welcome everyone to our service today. We are delighted to have you here. It is our Holy Humor Sunday and uh, after great debate, we decided that we would just continue with our uh, fairly recent tradition here at St. Paul's. And so today I welcome you on behalf of the Congregation of St. Paul's United Church and the Congregation of Unity United Church in Vasey. The Reverend Lois Brown is not with us today because uh, we have a number of extra things that we are doing in our service and we needed three people on the tech team today and with COVID-19 we're only allowed five of us all together in the building social distancing so uh, Lois does send her love and she'll be back with us next week and we look forward to that. We're just so delighted to be sharing uh, this uh, service with Unity and also so we want to welcome those of you who have found us and are coming online and I wanted to uh, think especially of the folk who are coming online from uh, Fenland Falls and Bob Cajun area and as you know Bob Cajun had a, a really tragic thing happening in one of their nursing homes Pinecrest so our hearts are with you um, 29 deaths and almost many of the staff and others still with COVID-19. So uh, we're thinking of you especially as uh, small communities. You, you, uh, you know what, that's uh, such an impact for everyone there. 
On behalf of Unity, uh, United Church is grieving the death of one of their parishioners. So our uh, condolences go uh, to the family of Dietmar Littner, who died on April the 11th of cancer. Dietmar will be remembered for his deep loyalty to all of his relationships within the church, the Lions, the Legion, and the community, his gourmet cooking, his love of music and ballroom dancing, his debating skills and sharp wit. He will be sorely, sorely missed. Please keep that family in your thoughts and prayers. And so we will continue now with our service, our Holy Humor Sunday. Victoria? Victoria? What are you doing? Oh, my word. Are you in your pajamas? Absolutely. What are you doing in your pajamas? Well, we are worshiping. What's the problem? They're in their pajamas. What? Hey, listen, and this is a onesie. And, you know, it's important to get dressed, so you got to wear the shoes, right? Oh, so, uh, so okay. this is so dressed. I got my onesie. And I have a pocket for my mic, finally. Oh, my word. <laughs> but, but we're worshiping, Victoria. Oh. Everyone out there is going to see you in listen, your pajamas. Listen, again, they're in their pajamas. I can be in my pajamas. I don't know why, Karen, you don't wear your pajamas. Honestly, it's so comfy. Well, I'll tell you. He, she is right. If you guys can worship in your pajamas... Got my what coffee can I pot. Say? You've got coffee. I've got coffee in my cup. Oh, my mm -hmm. word. I get it. Mm -hmm. Because if they can have coffee. Absolutely. And. can have coffee. Cookies. Oh, cookies. <laughs> oh, that's well, really cool. Well, this is the part I'm missing most about this live streaming. Is that we don't have coffee hour. We afterwards. don't have coffee yeah. hour with our cookies. And you know what, Karen? What? I can't share. <laughs> oh, my word. She's social distancing. Mm. Now, this mm -hmm. is social distancing mm. at mm. its worst. Mm. I'm loving it. Oh, yeah. Well, <laughs> not so much, sister. Not so much. Mm. Oh, man. Everyone at home is probably having a hot cross bun or... Mm. Hot cross buns Pardon or me, that's muffins. so rude. To Don't tell me it's bacon and eggs. Mouth. Oh, my word. Okay. Now I'm jealous. Mm. I'm truly jealous. These are delicious. Yeah. Just saying. I can't believe I didn't think of it myself. <laughs> <laughs> there you have it. Cheers. There you have it. On this Holy Humor Sunday, we do gather to worship God wherever we are. We believe that God is with us everywhere, in all places, and in all things. And obviously, you can worship in your jammies. You can worship with coffee at hand anytime. You can worship with your families. And we are still connecting to the God who is the giver of laughter and joy and is in us even in our struggles. And so, we worship. We want to acknowledge that we are on the land of the traditional Wendat peoples and that we are also in the lands and in relationship with a number of different First Nations communities. We are in relationship with Boisley First Nations who are on Christian Island and throughout this area. May we work always for peace and recon reconciliation as we gather always to be about writing a relationship that was greatly damaged. May that be our calling. Amen. So we're going to put the words up on the screen to this next hymn. It's called Take Time to Be Funny. It goes to the tune of Take Time to Be Holy. And so we do want you to sing this with us and sing it out loud, sing it however you want. It's intended to remind us that God is with us. Take time to be funny. Word for laughter is. 
Let us pray. Imaginative God, you smiled and the sun burst through the shadows of chaos. You chuckled and the platypus splashed in creation's fountain. You laughed and all that is good and beautiful was given shape by you. Laughing Jesus, Snickering at the feeble attempts of the evil one, you showed us how to resist temptation, giggling at sin's desperate desire to hold on to us. You released us by your love, howling with laughter at death's foolish belief that the tomb could hold you. You burst forth into the kingdom as the stars peeled with joy. Spirit of Easter, as you fill us with new life, may we delight in sharing it with others as you tell us the good news which can never be taken from us. May we rejoice in offering it to the broken, the sad, and the lonely. As you tickle us with grace, may we give it away with laughter on our lips and joy in our hearts. And that was written by Thomas Schumann on his blog, Lectionary Liturgies. Amen. Each Sunday we light the Christ candle. It reminds us that Jesus Christ is not only risen as we celebrated with Easter, but he's risen and lives in us as his Easter people. And when we live our faith, we become his light to all of the world. And so, as we light this Christ candle, may it remind us that Christ is with us and everywhere. Amen. For everything, there is a time, a time to laugh and a time to weep. And a time to dance. A feast is made for laughter. Wine makes life merry and money is the answer for everything. Blessed are you who weep now, for you shall laugh. So we want to uh, teach you, if you don't know this already, a song called Give to Us Laughter. It is certainly one of a favorite uh, hymns that's here in this congregation. And every now and then we believe that Murphy moves in to our building. And if you know Murphy's Law, everything that can go wrong will go wrong. So we checked the PowerPoint and apparently we're missing the last two lines of the first verse. So as Victoria plays this through, I'm going to just say the words and then we're all going to sing it in a minute when the PowerPoint comes on. So I'm going to say the words, Victoria will play it and then I'll cue the PowerPoint and uh, they'll come on and you can sing at least it. Give to us laughter, O source of our life. 
Laughter can banish so much of our strife. Laughter and love give us wholeness and health. Laughter and love are the coin of true wealth. Please sing along. Give to us laughter, O source of our life. Laughter can banish so much of our strife. Laughter and love give us wholeness and health. Laughter and love are the coin of true wealth. So I don't know how many of you remember when you were young about your first time realizing that there is laughter in your life and that there are jokes and that things can be funny. We want to take you back to that time. And so here is a jokes told by one of our members of our congregation. Hope you enjoy it. How do bees get to school? How? In a school bus. <laughs> knock, knock. Who's there? Wouldn't you? Wouldn't you who? Wouldn't you like to play on the swing with me? Aw. What did the pencil say to the other pencil? What did the pencil say to the other pencil? It looked pretty sharp. You look looking pretty sharp. Are you done yet? Yep. Okay, so now can we have an extra treat? An extra treat? I don't know, Victoria. An extra <laughs> treat might be nice for us, too. No doubt about that. I have my treat, Karen. Let us continue singing with Give to Us Laughter, verse 2. Give to us laughter as sign of deep joy. Let us in laughing find Christian employ, joining with stars and with bright northern lights, laughing and praising and sharing delights. And over to you, Victoria. My neighbors. Cat. Yeah, so um, I was telling Karen this story a while back. And uh, my neighbor's brother and sister-in-law uh, have a new grandbaby. But in the midst of COVID-19, of course, um, they can't go see the baby. They can't hold the baby. They can't visit. It's, it's a terrible thing. And some of you may be struggling with the same, the same issue. Nevertheless, sister-in-law was feeling particularly down about all of this and one night particularly she she was feeling very sorry for herself and so in the evening she took a chair put her coat on took her phone went outside sat outside and uh, just sort of pondering life and feeling badly and got her phone she's looking at old pictures of oh you know the kids when they were little and oh i remember that and being all sentimental and really feeling sorry for herself probably cried a little bit as well and in the midst of this, you know, feeling sorry for herself, looking at sentimental photos, the cat comes along and is rubbing against her leg. And so she reaches down, she's petting the cat. Isn't that lovely? And she's looking at her phone and she's still feeling rather miserable and petting the cat, petting the cat. And she finally looks down. It's not a cat, it's a raccoon. She is petting a raccoon. Okay, so that's weird enough, Karen, right? Yes. But... but well, like, what? The raccoon walks along, do 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 do, and oh, there's a human. I think I'll go over there and visit that human. Like, what is that about? <laughs> oh, my goodness. And to stand there while she pet it for such a long time, it's just a bizarre story. So, in the midst of COVID 19 and sister in law feeling sorry for herself, um, she got a, well, first a scare because she screamed and ran inside and then laughed hysterically. So I thought it was a, a fitting story for this morning. Thank you for that. <laughs> and so we're going to go to our third verse of Give to Us Laughter. Please sing along. Why do we worry that we will lose space? Why act like king for the whole human race? Often in family and often with friends. Love 
laughing and fight causes anguish to end. And so I wanted to talk a little bit uh, about uh, what it means to have a Holy Humor Sunday, and then we're going to continue with that. So a number of years ago, um, I, had a, I have a really good friend who's a Roman Catholic priest, and he and I have been uh, friends for quite a while, and, and we've had a lot of fun times together. And so what we did is we were chit-chatting about, I always used to say to him, every year I'm going to get a t-shirt that says, I survived Holy Week. He says, me too, but you guys need to start doing Holy Humor Sunday. I'd never heard of Holy Humor Sunday. So he said, well, you know, it's the Sunday after Easter. And he said, we're still celebrating. And he said, it's a time after Lent for the congregation to loosen up, to laugh. And, you know, he said, it's just a lot of fun. And, and remember, Karen, as I know, that laughter is, is one of God's gifts to us. Laughter often helps us, just as the words we've been singing say, to get through a lot of really difficult things. Laughter can bring a smile to our face. And it can, as, as Victoria's story tells, here's this woman and she's really down. She's not seeing her grandchild and she's just really struggling. And the cat's comforting. <laughs> but when she realized it was a raccoon, Boy, oh boy, her mood went to a whole different level. And I'm sure the raccoon was saying, hmm, might be nice to be a cat sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Even in the worst of moments, sometimes laughter becomes a gift that is able to shift us to another place. And if we're always down and uh, struggling with depression, we know that that's a really hard place and that God is in the midst of that, no, no question. But sometimes the gift of laughter helps you to transition into a place that's healthier and more whole. I, um, I grew up in a family that used to say, well, you'd better, better to laugh than to cry. And so I learned at a young age that, you know, if you make a mistake, don't get mortified, just laugh about it. I told my congregation a number of years ago when we were introducing this, uh, this Sunday service that I remember one time when my daughter was in grade eight and she said to me, uh, Mom, I, I was waving to her. She was with some friends and she didn't wave back and it was like she didn't know who I was. Needless to say, I was offended, but I did think it a little funny, too. So afterwards, I said to her, Caitlin, like, you, were you ignoring me? Did you not want to be seen with me? She said, oh, Mom, sometimes you embarrass me. Well, what's a parent for, right? <laughs> Isn't that part of my job? <laughs> so I just said, oh, dear. Do you know what? If you grow up in life not being embarrassed, you're going to have a really boring life. So sometimes laughter enables us also to accept that we're not perfect, we're going to make mistakes, and, and you can get through them, and you can laugh your way through some of those moments. And if you're like my family, they become next year's story because they were so stupid that, you know, do you know how stupid I can be? Well, let me tell you. <laughs> so Laughter is a gift. It's God's gift. Humor is God's gift. And it's part of the way we're made. And we want to celebrate that today. And hope that even in COVID-19, you're still able to laugh as we all struggle to get through these times. And so with that in mind, we have been gathering COVID-19, the lighter side of life. <laughs> and so Victoria is going to share some of these jokes with me. And some of them came from you guys, our members of the congregation or friends. So you might recognize some of them. But uh, I'm going to start and we're just going to yin-yang back and forth. 
and not all of them made it into today's service. We had to pick and choose. Some were funny, but not appropriate. And, um, and others <laughs> weren't that funny. So here we go. People keep asking me, is COVID-19 really that serious? Listen, y'all, the churches and the casinos are closed. When heaven and hell agree on the same thing, it's serious. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> I don't think anyone expected that when we changed the clocks, we'd go from standard time to the twilight zone. <laughs> well, listen to me. I've eaten 14 meals and taken six naps, and it's still today. <laughs> Are you kidding me? I hear you. I need to practice social distancing from the refrigerator. Well, here's a tip. Every few days, try on your jeans just to make sure they fit. Oh, but they don't. Pajamas <laughs> will oh. have you believe that all is well with the kingdom. Just saying. <laughs> just saying. <laughs> so, after this quarantine, will the producers of my 600-pound life just find me, or do I find them? <laughs> Speaking of weight issues. Hmm. Day seven at home, the dog is looking at me and says, see, this is why I chew the furniture. No kidding. Oh, my goodness. Oh, oh, this morning, I saw a neighbor talking to her cat. It was obvious she thought her cat understood her. I came into my house, told my dog. We laughed a lot. <laughs> Quarantine day five. And for those of you who know me, this happens to be the one I got. We didn't know who was <laughs> getting which that. one. I went to the restaurant, called the kitchen. <laughs> you have to gather up all the ingredients and make your own meal. I have no clue how this place stays in business. <laughs> Especially in your house. <laughs> Especially in my house. That's why I have a husband. <laughs> I used to spin that toilet paper like I was on Wheel of Fortune, and now I turn it like I'm cracking a safe. <laughs> <laughs> well, my body has absorbed so much soap and disinfectant lately that when I pee, it cleans the toilet. <laughs> That's nice. Oh, my goodness. Classified ad. Single man with toilet paper seeks woman with hand sanitizer for good, clean fun. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so excited. It's time to take out the garbage. <laughs> what shall I wear? You could wear your onesie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and I love this one. Day six of homeschooling. My child just said, I hope I don't have the same teacher next year. I'm offended. <laughs> well, folks, at the end of the day, it's better six feet apart than six feet under. Mm. <laughs> there you have it. Touché. And we were sent this picture in and we thought it was very funny and so we thought you might enjoy it too. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. So as you're enjoying that we're going to uh, continue uh, singing. Don't you love that? And thanks to all of you who've been making masks and we're really proud that in Penetanguishene one of our factories is now making the uh, masks that the hospital needs. They've transitioned over. And so we're going to sing our last verse to give to us laughter. Sing along. Please sing along with us. Laughter with tears brings most healing relief. God give us laughter and God give us peace. Joys of your presence among us increase. A clown's prayer. As I stumble through this life, help me to create more laughter than tears. Dispense more cheer than gloom. Spread more cheer than despair. Never let me become so indifferent that I will fail to see the wonders in the eyes of a child or the twinkle in the eyes of the aged. Never let me forget that my total effort is to cheer people, make them happy, 
and forget momentarily all the unpleasantness in their lives. And in my final moment, may I hear you whisper, when you made my people smile, you made me smile. Isn't that lovely, a clown's prayer? We found that on the internet. It's anonymous, but we were really delighted to find it. I just want to um, thank those of you who have been uh, able to assist us. Uh, so many people have lost their jobs or they're living on reduced income. We know that our economy is uncertain at this point. Um, our government uh, is really trying its very best, I believe, and I love the way all of the provinces, the premiers and the provinces, the territories, and our federal government are working together. Um, there's no polarization. They're just teaming together and uh, trying to do what is best for Canadians. For those of you who are able to give, uh, a number of you have given us an extra over and above uh, gift. We thank you. Uh, if you're not from St. Paul's, you're from Unity or from some of our other churches, your churches still uh, need your help. In our congregation, we have uh, seven staff. I'm the only full-time one. Um, we have just, after keeping her on staff for three weeks, our custodian has now gone on to the emergency leave uh, um, that the government has arranged. It's actually financially better for her because she works 25 hours with us and she's lost employment with some of her other uh, employers. Um, we look forward to having her back. Before she left, she completely sanitized the church and scrubbed it. Uh, Sonia, we're uh, happy to have you as part of the team. The rest of the staff are still working. In fact, Rebecca this morning did a virtual uh, Sunday school with three other churches at 9.30, and then they were coming on for 10 o'clock uh, for our service. And um, all sorts of things are happening with just more than just Victoria, Glenn, and I. Um, we also are grateful that Colleen continues to make her calls. So with the loss of income from uh, people using the building and the loss of our fundraisers, uh, we thank you. And uh, there's many who, uh, in churches across the country who might not make it through this, so thank you. Thank you for your gifts. In order to bring unity into our service, we now have a music. It's a, a video of Barb Benson and Clark Bonney, and they regularly sing at Unity United Church, and we're delighted to have them singing for us now. This is what we're doing during isolation. Hope you enjoy our music. Two, three. Such a long, long ways. 
that was lovely. Um, we really do uh, like having uh, Unity with us and having you with us. So um, it's, it's good. It's all good. And we're also grateful for technology that's allowing us to bring some other pieces in for our service. Let us pray together. O oh Lord, giver of joy and laughter, we thank you for giving us these gifts, for opportunities to laugh at ourselves, for the belly laughs of children, for friends and family who love us because of our quirks, not just in spite of them, for the courage to smile even when difficulties arise, for those who have hope even when others think there is no hope, for saints in the Lord who overflow with laughter and spread their joy to all of us, for the words of Jesus that defy our logical minds, for teaching us that we can begin again and follow you, for the father of the prodigal son who was willing to look like a fool as he runs to greet his son, for the generosity of the landowner who would pay workers a whole day's wage when they'd only worked one hour, for tiny bits of faith that can move entire mountains. For the reality that nothing can live unless it first dies. For the great reversal of the gospel, that the last shall be made first, that the rejected stone become the cornerstone, that those who wish to become great must serve, that the lost will be found, that the small will become great, that though you are wisdom, you choose to forgive our sins, that when we are weak, your strength shines through us. O oh God, giver of joy and laughter, we thank you for giving us these gifts. And today especially, we pray with all around the globe as we struggle to live compassionately and with grace in the midst of COVID-19. Be with all the essential personnel working in many different fields that are risking contact with this virus. Be especially with the staff who are caring for seniors in various homes and institutions. We give you thanks for them be with those who have the virus and with their families who are with them, that they might be well again. Help us to know that you are with us all. And may together we pray, please join with me even at home. Put your coffee cup down. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Our worship is coming to a close, but we uh, want you to know that we go out into this world always, singing and proclaiming the God of our faith, knowing that God is with us always. So please join me with Ale, Ale, Ale.
the chair before she sees me. Oh, that's nice. I like that. Karen, I'm thinking the most suitable postlude today might be uh, if you're happy and you know it. You just want to get me out of the chair. <laughs> You I have to stand it. up and lead okay. it. Okay, how many of you remember if you're happy and you know it? Three verses. If you're clap happy and you know hands, it, clap your hands, clap your hands, feet. stomp your feet, shout hurrah. Shout amen. Shout amen. Got it. So be it. <laughs> right, we're in church. Uh, okay. I forgot we're in church. I'm in my onesie, for heaven's sake. Happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, shout amen. Amen. If you're happy and you know it, shout amen. Amen. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, shout amen. Amen. Go in peace. Have fun. This a gift of laughter and love are yours from God. Amen. I wonder if the coffee's cold. <laughs> and I've got a cookie. <laughs> and we apologize for the earworm of, and you're happy. <laughs>